Are we the sole inhabitants of the vast universe? There are up to 400 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy, in which there are trillions of planets orbiting such stars. Where are all the aliens? Why haven't we gotten any form of signal from space? Are we some kind of special beings? Are we the first civilization in the galaxy, or even in the universe? Are we the first? These questions come from an age-old paradox that puzzled scientists for a long time. But now, it looks like we might have some answers. Keep watching to find out more. Before we look into the solutions, let's understand what this paradox is all about. The Fermi Paradox is a puzzling situation that arises because it seems highly likely that there should be other intelligent civilizations in the universe, but we have no proof or contact with them. This paradox is named after the physicist Enrico Fermi. Back in 1950, Fermi was having a discussion with his colleagues Edward Teller, Herbert York, and Emil Konopinski. They were talking about recent reports of UFOs, unidentified flying objects, and the possibility of faster-than-light travel. During the conversation, Fermi suddenly asked, But where is everybody? Several attempts have been made to explain the Fermi paradox, suggesting that intelligent extraterrestrial life could be exceedingly rare, that such civilizations might have short lifespans, or that they exist but humans haven't yet encountered any evidence for various reasons. I'd like to clarify the significance of the Fermi Paradox because many people who bring it up may not fully grasp its weight. The universe is vast and ancient, with billions of galaxies and trillions of stars. That is approximately 90 billion light-years in diameter and comprises at least 100 billion galaxies, each hosting anywhere from 100 to 1,000 billion stars. Recent discoveries have shown that planets are also abundant, suggesting there could be trillions of potentially habitable worlds out there. With such enormous number of potentially suitable planets for life, it seems highly probable that there should be other intelligent civilizations out there and they should have visited us by now. So, where are they? Shouldn't we see evidence of their presence, such as like radio signals or other forms of communication, spaceships zipping around. Let's take a moment to think about this question. Even if extraterrestrial civilizations exist in distant galaxies, we are unlikely ever to encounter them. Anything beyond our local group of galaxies is essentially beyond our reach due to the universe's ever-expanding nature. Even with incredibly fast spacecraft, it would take billions of years to reach these far-off regions, traversing some of the emptiest spaces in the universe. So, let's focus on our home, the Milky Way. This galaxy contains up to 400 billion stars, truly a staggering number. Counting one star per second, it would take a hundred lifetimes just to tally them all. Approximately 20 billion stars in the Milky Way resemble our sun, and around a fifth of them may have Earth-sized planets in the habitable zone, where conditions are suitable for life. Even if only 0.1% of these planets harbored life, we would still have one million potentially inhabited planets in our galaxy. But here's the catch. The Milky Way is about 13 billion years old. Initially, it wasn't conducive to life due to frequent explosions, but after a billion or two years, the first habitable planets emerged. Earth, at four billion years old, represents just one instance of life's development. There have likely been trillions of opportunities for life to flourish on other planets. If even one of them evolved into a spacefaring civilization, we should have noticed by now. So, what might such an advanced civilization look like? They fall into three categories. A Type I civilization harnesses all the energy available on its planet. Currently, we're around 0.73 on this scale, with expectations to reach Type 1 in the next few centuries. A Type 2 civilization can capture all the energy radiated by its home star, an idea that may seem like science fiction, but is theoretically possible. Concepts like the Dyson Sphere, 
an enormous structure surrounding a star could make it achievable. A Type III civilization controls the energy of an entire galaxy, reaching a godlike level compared to us. I've already created an in-depth video discussing various types of alien civilizations based upon Kardashev scale. If you're interested, you can watch it by clicking the card displayed above or by following the link provided in the description. But here's the puzzle. Why don't we see any of these advanced civilizations? If we were to build generation ships capable of supporting human populations for around 1,000 years, we could colonize the entire galaxy in just 2 million years. While that may sound like a long time, remember that the Milky Way is immense. So, if it takes a few million years to colonize the entire galaxy, and there are possibly millions or even billions of life-sustaining planets in the Milky Way, it's perplexing that we haven't encountered any aliens. This enigma is known as the Fermi Paradox, and it remains unanswered. However, over the years, scientists have tried to solve the Fermi Paradox, and one of the solutions is called the Dark Forest Theory. This theory compares the universe to a dark forest, where all civilizations are like hunters trying to survive in a dangerous and hostile place. In this theory, civilizations are always worried about being found by other civilizations because it could lead to their destruction. So, every civilization has to be very careful and hidden to stay alive. The idea behind this fear is explained like this. The universe is a dark forest. Every civilization is an armed hunter moving quietly through the trees like a ghost, being very careful not to make any noise. If one civilization finds another, there's only one thing they can do. Attack and destroy them. The theory also says that civilizations might use tricks to hide themselves from others, like using technology to stay hidden or pretending to be less advanced than they really are. The Dark Forest Theory tries to explain why we haven't seen any signs of other civilizations, even though the universe is so big and there could be many of them out there. It suggests that they are all hiding, just like hunters in a dark forest, to stay safe. The Rare Earth Hypothesis is another proposed solution to the Fermi Paradox. It suggests that the conditions required for the emergence of intelligent life are exceptionally rare possibly making us the sole intelligent species in the universe. According to this hypothesis, there are numerous factors that contribute to the scarcity of complex life in the cosmos. These factors include the necessity of having the right type of star, the right kind of planet, the right type of solar system, the right chemical composition, and the right biological evolution. The rare earth hypothesis contends that the combination of all these conditions is an exceedingly uncommon occurrence, which could explain why we have not encountered any extraterrestrial civilizations. However, it's crucial to understand that this hypothesis is not universally accepted within the scientific community, and it remains a subject of debate and discussion. Another potential solution to the Fermi paradox is the belief that Earth has already been visited by extraterrestrial beings who may have contributed to the construction of ancient monuments like Stonehenge, the Nazca Lines, and the Egyptian pyramids. This idea is popular among the general public, but lacks credible scientific evidence. While there have been UFO sightings and unexplained phenomena, most can be explained naturally or as human-made it's essential to approach claims of extraterrestrial visitation with skepticism and seek credible evidence. The vastness of the universe allows for the possibility of life on other planets. But until concrete proof emerges, this remains a speculative and theoretical concept. Let's discuss the concept of filters. Filters are barriers that life struggles to overcome, and they come in various forms great filters that are behind us. It could be exceptionally challenging for complex life to originate, and the precise conditions for life to begin may be exceedingly rare. Perhaps the universe was once far more hostile, and we're among the first, if not the only, civilizations to emerge. Great filters ahead of us. This scenario is worrisome. Advanced civilizations might destroy themselves or their planets when they reach a certain stage, 
which lies ahead of our current development. It's possible that a future technology, when unleashed, poses a grave threat to existence or nuclear war in their planet. Alternatively, an ancient Type 3 civilization might eliminate advanced civilizations as they emerge, concealing something perilous. Lastly, there's a troubling possibility. We might be all alone in the universe. Right now, there's no solid proof of life beyond Earth. The universe appears empty, with no signals or signs from other beings. It's like we're isolated on a small planet in a vast and silent cosmos. This realization should make us concerned. If life on Earth were to disappear, it could mean the end of life in the whole universe, maybe forever. In this case, it's our responsibility to explore space and become the first Type 3 civilization. We must protect and spread the fragile flame of life until the universe's final breath, ensuring that the beauty of the cosmos doesn't go unnoticed. The search for extraterrestrial life is an active area of scientific research, and many scientists are working to find evidence of life on other planets or in other parts of the universe. However, it is not yet clear whether aliens exist or not, and it may be some time before we are able to answer this question conclusively. Do you think we are alone? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and if you are interested in more content like this, please consider subscribing to Explore. These videos might catch your interest. I highly suggest that you watch them.